Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Trainer High School on a beautiful sunny day. This is Tim Navra reporting for the Trainer Cardinals Broadcasting Network and Fuller Digital Solutions. Our, our inaugural broadcast of Cardinal Soccer. We're happy we have sponsors for all of our Cardinal Broadcasting. We thank you. If you'd like to join, please contact Fuller, Di Fuller Digital Solutions at gmail.com. Get involved. Get involved with Cardinal Athletics. Join the Trainer Athletic Booster Club. Be a sponsor of our broadcasting. Volunteer for events. We ask that you do it as much as you can with as much time and effort that you have to give to our kids. We thank you for all of our vol volunteers during the whole year, school year, during every season. Again, we thank you so much for sponsoring and helping out with the Trainer Cardinals. Tonight, we have a matchup, cross-county matchup with the Underwood Eagles. Trainer Cardinals come in at 4-0. The Underwood Eagles come in sixth ranked in the state at 4-0. So it's going to be a battle between the ladies tonight to lead us off in our double header of girls soccer, then boys soccer. Again, we welcome you to beautiful training. We have about three minutes till game time. Run through our starters for the sixth ranked Underwood Eagles. Coached by head coach Tyler Nelson, assisted by trainer alum Alexis Keller. The Eagles lead off with double zero Avery Honan. Number two, Haley Stangle. Number three, Macy Johnson. Number 10, Mallory Leaders. Number 11, Teeler Hull. Number 12, Corin Treaty. Number 15, Regan Ward, Ward. Number 16, Remy Paulson. Number 17, Lola Paulson. And number 18, Georgia Paulson. That's the Underwood Eagles. And now for your trainer, Cardinals. Cardinals are head by first-year coach Courtney Murphy, assisted by Mike Zadalis and Tim Bach. Your starting lineup for your Cardinals. Between the pipes, number zero, a sophomore, Zoe Zadalis. Number four, junior Callie Bach. A sophomore, number five, Claire Shroggy. A senior, number six, Josie Lewis. A sophomore, number eight, Gabby Blanchard. Sophomore, number 10, Addie Minahan. A junior, number 11, Ava Kennedy. A senior, number 12, Allie Hauser. A sophomore, number 16, Ellie Kinsella. A sophomore, number 17, Lily Yoakum. And rounding out the Cardinal lineup is junior number 20, Andin White. Again, tonight we have a matchup of undefeated teams. Both teams coming in at 4-0. Some statistical leaders for the Eagles. Haley Stangle, the junior, has five goals on hand. Regan Ward, a senior, has four assists. And between the pipes for the Eagles, a junior Avery Honan has 11 saves with one goal allowed. For your Cardinals, sophomore Claire Schrage leads the team with goals with five. She also leads the assists with five. And Zoe Zadalis comes in with saves of 20, allowing only two goals. Also... Restrooms are located on the north end of our concessions building. A big thank you to Josh Vince and Miller Orthopedic Specialists for all of the support and care they provide Cardinal Athletics. Miller Orthopedic Specialists, it's a quality of life. Good sportsmanship is part of competition at Trainer High School. In addition to our players and coaches pursuing, pursuing victory with honor, we invite all of our spectators to hold themselves to a high level of conduct by being positive role models and respecting the coaches and officials. On behalf of the students at Trainer High School, enjoy the match. First, we'd like to introduce the ball shaggers for tonight. 
We have Avery Fink, Kathy Chambers, Zoe Campbell, Maddie Parrott, Ireland Day, Riley Kiner, Bailey Dodds, Alex Starr, and Zoe Carlson. We'd also like to uh, have special recognition for our kit captains for the night, London Hambright and Malachi Heath. Now, for the starting lineup for the visitors from Underwood. A junior, double zero, Avery Hahnen. A junior, number two, Haley Sangle. A junior, number three, Macy Johnson. A junior, number five, Holly Larson. A sophomore, Mallory Leaders. A junior, Tyler Hull. A senior, number 12, Corn Treaty. A senior, number 15, Reagan Ward. Freshman, number 16, Remy Paulson. A junior, number 17, Lola Paulson. And a senior, number 18, Georgia Paulson. Rise for the National Anthem. Officials tonight are Jason Magruder, Grace Veit, and Michael Miller. It's time for Cardinal Soccer. Again, welcome back to Trainer High School. 
Again, here are the starting lineups. If you missed them the first time, here we go again for the sixth ranked Underwood Eagles at 4 0. S keeper, double zero, Avery Honan. Number two, Allie Stengel. Number three, Macy Johnson. Number five, Holly Larson. Number 10, Mallory Leaders. Number 11, Tyler Hull. Number 12, Corn Trady. Number 15, Reagan Ward. Number 16, Remy Paulson. Number 17, Lola Paulson. And number 18, Georgia Paulson. For your trainer Cardinals who come in at also at 4-0, between the pipes is sophomore Zoe Zadalis. Along with Zoe, we have junior number four, Callie Bach. Sophomore number five, Claire Schrage. A senior number six, Josie Lewis. Sophomore number eight, Gabby Blanchard. Sophomore number 10, Addie Minahan. Junior number 11, Ava Kennedy. Senior number 12, Allie Hauser. Sophomore number 16, Ellie Kinsella. And a sophomore number 17, Lily Yoakum. And a junior number 20, and in white. Cardinals will get the ball, won the tip. Get the ball and be traveling toward the west on our field to the right on your screen. Claire Schrage takes it back, sends it to Addie Minahan. Minahan brings it up to the right side. Addie tries to get it to the corner. Out to Andin White. Andin back to Addie. Taken away by the Eagles. Georgia Paulson takes it into the middle for the Eagles. Eagles send it around to the outside. Hallie Stangle. Hallie Stangle sends it to the edge. Taken away by Callie Bach. Bach sends it up the sideline. Gets a throw in for the Cardinals. Long throw in toward Allie Hauser. Eagles take it away. Gets the throw in. Eagles with the throw in. Such a beautiful night. If you have nothing to do, folks, come on out to the Cardinal Field. I guess if this is soccer, it should be football and it would be the pitch. Of course, your Cardinals are in the red kits. The Eagles are in their white tops with blue shorts. Ellie Kinsella sends it up to Allie Hauser. Hauser drops it back, sends it all the way back to the defenders. Back to the middle. Ellie gets pressured by some Eagles. Callie Bach steals it away, pushes it forward. A little bit of a run by Callie Bach and it gets taken away. Good fight for the ball with Josie Lewis. I take the bet that was Claire Schrage that was in the battle. Gabby Blanchard sends it ahead. Comes out to a goal kick for the Eagles. Cardinals try to put on a little bit of pressure. Which they'll probably need to do all night. Like I said before, the Eagles come in 4-0, sixth ranked in the state. Eagles put a little pressure now on the Cardinals. Nice job by Josie Lewis taking it away. Sends it to the middle to Gabby Blanchard. Blanchard tries to send it up the outside to Allie Hauser. It gets taken away by the Cardinals, or excuse me, by the Eagles. Eagles try and put a little bit of pressure. Ava Kennedy puts on a little bit of a steal and tries to send it up the outside to Andon White. And the Eagles drop it back to reset the offense. Claire Schrage tries to put a little pressure on the Eagles. Allie Hauser steals it. 
to Shragi in the middle. A little bit of pressure and their keeper, Avery Honan. Good, good drive by the Cardinals to put some pressure on your, the Eagles. Eagles kick it deep. The turf bounces it a long ways down the field. Kicks it out to reset the defense. Eagles will have a throw in. Josie Lewis with the steal for the Cardinals. Up to Addie Minahan, but it dribbles out of bounds. Eagle throw in from the side. And then steals the ball. Claire to Claire Shroggy. Shroggy tries to send it up the outside. Gabby Blanchard drops back to Ellie Kinsella. Kinsella fights off an eagle. Tries to get it up on the outside to Addie Minahan, taken away by the Eagles. Eagles reset their offense. Good steal by Minahan. And in White putting pressure on the Eagles. Drops it back to Kennedy. Kennedy puts it into the middle and it's headed back down the field for the Eagles. Cardinals drop it to reset. Stolen away by the Eagles. Looks like our scoreboard's tough to see on the screen. I'll give you reports every once in a while. Right now it's nil on both sides with about 34 minutes left to go in the first half. Eagles try and work it around the outside, try and bring it back into the inside. Drops it into Lola Paulson. Paulson tries to take a shot. Hits the back of Bach and dribbles it out of bounds for an eagle throw in. <laughs> Folks, we appreciate your viewing tonight with our inaugural broadcast of Cardinal Soccer. Not sure I introduced myself. I'm Tim Navra trying to help out, give some play-by-play, -play. try and give a little bit of knowledge into, into the sport of soccer. Looks like Eagles will have a corner kick. This will be a, first, a real first attempt to try and get a score on the Cardinals. Corner kick was low. Kelly with the nice steal. Tries to clear it out so everybody can get out of the box which the Cardinals do. Eagles are going to have to try and reset their offense. Attempt to try and drop it into the box to get some speed going, but keeper Zoe Zadalis has a no say on that and takes it away and throws it up the field. Pretty clean game so far. We're already eight minutes into it. We've had no whistles blowing. Not even any type of offsides going. First substitution of the evening. Laney Wasinius comes into the match for Andon White. For the Cardinals. Laney's going to be throwing it in. Throws it into Claire Schrage. Back to Wasinius. Minahan drops it into the box. Back out to Wasinius. Wasinius off of an eagle. Goes out of bounds. Wasinius with the throw in. Into Kinsella. Kinsella drops it back to Kennedy. Kennedy boots it ahead. 
clear shot. He tries to head it. Wasn't quite underneath of it. Doesn't get her full head underneath of it and dribbles it out of bounds. Eagle throw in. Eagles throw it in. Tries to get it up into the middle. Trying to do some attacking. Mallory leaders with the ball to the outside. Eagles drop back. Tries to reset the offense. Try and drop it into the box. Cardinals defuse the offense of the Eagles. Zadellis tries to clear it out. Up the sideline, Gabby Blanchard sends it. Little tussle. With Allie Hauser, tries to get some control. The Eagles get control and send it back into the middle and up the field. Good defense by Bach in the middle of the field to try and take away any type of drop in or run out. Eagles get control again. Changes field. Drops it to the outside. Tries to put it back into the middle. Laney Wasinius clears it out for the Cardinals. Eddie Minahan takes control, heads up the field for the Cardinals. Drops it to Claire Schrage. Tries to get control of it. Has a little fight with an eagle. Sends it up the field to Kennedy. Kennedy mishandles it just a little too hard off of her foot to get control. Eagles take control it back into the middle of the field. Kinsella drops it into the eagle defense. Try and push them back and push our Cardinal defenders forward more. Eagles taking their time, trying to set their offense, try and find a gap within the Cardinal defense. Trying to work that right side or the top of your screen. Taken away by Gabby Blanchard. Blanchard to Kinsella. Kinsella loses control and the Eagles take it. Kennedy heads them off at the pass. Back to Kinsella. Kinsella up the field to Minahan. A little too far for Addy. Can't get a hold of it. And Eagles take control on the near side. Try to get a little give and go. Kennedy says no. And kicks it out of bounds to reset the defense for the Cardinals. Eagle throw in. Ball's thrown in for the Eagles. Trying to work this near side again. Sends it to the middle. Gets into the Cardinal box, but it's cleared out by Lily Yoakum. Yoakum clears it out to Hauser. Hauser in the middle to Shragi. Shragi trying to work a little footwork. Loses control. Eagles take it. Box stops it. Tries to work it around, drops it back. Back to the middle. Blanchard with the ball. Try almost taken away. Controlled by Kennedy. A little slip on that. Loses, loses control to an eagle. Puts a little pressure. Tries to take a long 30-yard shot. And it's held there by Zoe Zadalas. Zoe tries to clear it out. Up to Blanchard. About 26 minutes left to go in the first half. Score is still nil. First half here again with the Underwood Eagles, sixth ranked in the state, coming in at 4-0 against your trainer Cardinals, who are also 4-0 for the season. Cardinals work it around the middle, get it to Laney Wasinius. 
Sinias gets bumped by an eagle, loses control. Eagles mishandle the ball and it's a throw in. And in White comes back in for the Cardinals, in for Addie Minahan. Ava Kennedy with the throw in. Into Wasinius, off the top of her toe. Tries to gain control again. Little fight with the Eagles. Cardinals try and make an attempt to try and push the Eagles back farther. Loose control of the ball. Eagles trying to attack that middle area again. Cardinals try to roll it out. Josie Lewis, not sure if she mistook Ella Avis or not in the ball game and try to kick it out toward her. But Ella will be the next Cardinal in. So it was Eagle throw in, trying to attack that middle. Lily Yoakum again with a nice stop of the defensive ball there for the Cardinals. Tries to clear it out to reset. Push the Eagles a little farther down the field. Eagles are going to try and attack the right side or the upper half here. Yoakum is battling out there with the Eagle. Taken away by Bach. Again, Cardinals try and clear it out. A weak effort to try and just kick it in the box to try and get something going for the Eagles, and Zoe Zadalis gets it for the Cardinals. Clears it out with a high kick. Blanchard tries to get control of it, loses it. Nice stop by Bach on the attack by two Eagles. Eagles gain control. They've got the middle pack. There's four or five Cardinals in the middle of the field. Looks like their strategy is to attack the middle. A lot of times you see soccer teams attack the outside or the edges, try and get runouts and try and attack it or cross, cross net and try and get a header or a, somebody shooting down the outside of the field to try and get a goal. Cardinals clear it out to try and reset the defense. Eagles don't see any opportunity, so they drop it back to their keeper. She switches field, goes up to the top side or the outside Back to the middle. Back to the outside. Down the field, down the outside. Back into the middle. Ava Kennedy with a nice save in there. Kicks it down. Now it's going to be a corner kick for the Eagles. Looks like Reagan Ward, a senior, will be taking the corner kick for the Eagles. Kicks up into the air, headed out by Josie Lewis. Eagles get control, but then the Cardinals punch it back out again. Back and forth we go. Cardinals trying to keep control and keep the Eagles in front of them. Nothing's going to try and get behind them. Kennedy is battling the Eagle down on the inside. Wind might play a little bit of a factor tonight with the Cardinals headed toward the west. Here come the Cardinals to Shroggy. Shroggy tries to get it back to White. Hauser is battling. Gets it knocked off of her and looks like it might just tumble out for a goal kick. Reset the Eagles. Nice 
Ella Avis, freshman, in for the Cardinals, in for Laney Wasinius. Eagles again, punch it to that middle area, trying to attack that middle. Oh, they get a run out. Nice pass up the field to Mallory Leaders. Leaders keeps control of it. Back to the next Cardinal, and they take a punch at it. Goes wide left of the goal. Cardinals take a breath. Reset with a goal kick. 20 minutes left to go in the first half. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Zadalis, oh, excuse me, it was Lewis who popped it out of the goal. Cardinals have a little bit of control. Let the Eagles gain back, drop it back, reset the offense. Again, attack, attacking that middle. Here comes Leaders out on a breakout again. Gets the shot on goal. Gets blocked by Zadalis. Unfortunately, it goes right to an Eagle. Eagles score the goal. And take a 1-0 lead here in the first half. Couldn't quite tell who that eagle was who scored that goal. So with 19.43 on the clock left in the first half, Eagles take a 1-0 goal. Shragi starts it off for the Cardinals. Punches out. Cardinals have the throw in. Kennedy tries to get it to White. Stolen away by the Cardinals. Excuse me, by the Eagles. Eagles get their control again. Goal for the Eagles might have been number two, a junior, Hallie Stangle. To take the 1-0 lead. Substitutes for the Cardinals. Laney Wasinius comes in for Ava Kennedy. And Addie Minahan comes in for Gabby Blanchard. Nice steal. Cardinals are trying to attack the outside. Back into the middle. Hopefully we got in and White crossing mid. Loses control to the Eagles. Trying to get it to roll out. And it looks like it'll be a Cardinal throw in. Cardinals throw it in. Looks like it bounced off an Eagle. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a corner kick for your Cardinals. Looks like Ellie Kinsella is going to take the corner kick for the Cardinals. Nice kick to the middle. Oh, it hits the inside. Or the outside of the net. Ball goes back to the Eagles. The Cardinal drum is trying to get our fans fired up here. Underwood Eagles. Lead our Cardinals 1-0 in the first half. 17 minutes left to play in the half. Eagles again attack in that middle. A lot of open space. Reagan Ward with a lot of open space to work with.
Ball goes across the sideline, or the takes it out of bounds. Eagle throw in. Cardinals need to put a little more pressure on the ball. Dump it into the box for the Eagles. Zadalis with the capture. Rolls it out. Avis with the ball. Gets it taken away and kicked out by the Eagles. It'll be Cardinal throw in. Substitutions now for the Cardinals. Gabby Blanchard's back in, coming in for Ellie Kinsella. Wasinius with the throw into Blanchard. Tries to drop it to the middle of Shragi, but it gets taken away by the Eagles. Eagles re drop it back and reset. Trying to attack the outside. Get a little bit of a run out. Loses the handle. Goes out of bounds. Cardinal throw in. Again, we thank you for those of you who are watching our inaugural broadcast of Trainer Girls Soccer. Quick recap. Eagles take an early lead here, 1 0 here in the first half. The Cardinals have a breakout. Gets a shot on goal, and it just slides out. Allie Hauser with a nice left footed kick and just slides out of the way and doesn't get the goal. Good attack by the Cardinals. Eagles will have a goal kick. Minahan gets the ball out of the air from the goal kick. Dribbles back to an Eagle. Eagles again attack that middle. A lot of space for the Eagles to work with in the middle of the field right now. Eagles drop it in, try and get it past the Cardinal defenders. Lewis gets a hold of it, tries to send it up upfield. White gets stolen away by an Eagle. Eagles try and attempt, get stolen away by the Cardinals. Cardinals drop it all the way back to Zadalis. Tries to clear it out to Yoakum. Yoakum gets it taken away. Leaders tries to punch at the goal and misses on the outside. Goes to a Cardinal goal kick. Fourteen minutes left in the first half. Eagles lead 1-0. Cardinals try to clear it out. Gets taken away by the Eagles again. Yoakum tries to clear it out of that back to push the defenders up to try and clear out that defensive side of the field of the Cardinals. Eagles gain control and press the offense again. Attack that middle. Lewis with the steal. Dribbles it up the field. A little bit of room for her. Tries to send it up the sideline to White. White gets a hold of it, tries to take a little bit of control to get some footwork down, drops it back in to Avis. Avis then tries to send it to middle to the and is stolen away by the Eagles. Bach pushes up in the middle on ball. Eagles get it to the middle again. Tries to break out on the top side, try and use some speed against Yoakum. Oh, they're going to say it's off of Yoakum and goes to a corner kick for the Eagles. Substitutes are coming in. Looks like Remy Paulson for the Eagles. Coming in for Georgia Paulson. Ava Kennedy back in for the Cardinals. Corner kick for the Eagles. Comes off the Eagles and it is another goal for the Eagles. 
So with 11.55 left in the first half, the Eagles score another goal and go up 2-0 here in the first half. Cardinals will now be fighting with a 2-0 disadvantage in the match. Ball's put back into play. Time started. Cardinals try and figure a way to attack this Underwood defense. Back to Kinsella. Kinsella up to Shragi. Stolen away by the Eagles. Cardinals putting a little more pressure up on ball. This is a Western Iowa Conference matchup between usually the top teams in the conference, the Underwood Eagles and the Trainer Cardinals. Cardinals trying to put a little more pressure on the Eagles, a little more ball pressure. Eagles still keep control on their offensive side of the field. Cardinals have only had maybe three, four touches on their offensive side. Most of their touches have been on this defensive end. Breakout again. Lewis sends it to the side. Clears it out. Makes the Eagles have a throw in. Substitution now for the Eagles. Georgia Paulson's back into the game. She takes the place of number 10, Mallory Leaders. Throw into midfield. Lola Paulson with the ball for the Eagles. Cardinals try and clear it out. Eagles drop it back, reset their offense. Cardinals work their way up, trying to put pressure on the Eagles. Up this near sideline. Stangle, Stangle sends it across field to leaders. Leader sends it up the outside. Cardinals knock it out for a corner kick. Last corner kick that the Eagles had, they scored on. Really wasn't a header, it was close to a header, kind of a body control into it, and dropped it into the net. See if the Cardinals can keep them out of this area again. Header by an Eagle. Lewis tries to clear it out with her header. Eagles get it back. The Cardinals have got to start clearing it deeper and pushing the defense up higher. Try and get some offside calls on the Eagles. White fighting with the ball. Drops it to Blanchard. Blanchard tries to get it and control it. To Shragi. Shragi loses touch of it, goes back to the Eagles. We got eight minutes left to go in the first half. Cardinals are down 2 0 to the fourth, sixth ranked, excuse me, sixth ranked Underwood Eagles. Eagles scored their first goal with about 19, maybe 21 minutes left to go in the first half, and then their second goal with about 12 minutes left in the first half to take that 2-0 lead. Cardinal defense sends it to the outside. 
for an eagle throw in. Again, we appreciate everybody's viewership. We appreciate all of our sponsorships. If you would like to be a sponsor of Cardinal Trainer Cardinal Athletics, please contact Fuller Digital Solutions at gmail.com. Support our Cardinal athletes through the membership of the Trainer Athletic Booster Club. Yoakum fights off an eagle and gains control. Lewis sends it deep downfield. Try and get our offense going. Eagles gain control and attack that inside again. Kinsella steals it. Up to Hauser, she gets bounced, loses handles of the ball. Back to the Eagles. The Eagles into that inside. Too much control of the Eagles of the ball in the first half here. Cardinals will have to talk it over at halftime and try and get some control of the ball. Here's a play up the field. Kennedy sends it up to White. Eagles lose handle of it. Throw in Cardinals. Lila Eitman comes in for a freshman for the Cardinals and for Claire Schrage. Lila's number 15 in red for our Cardinals. Throw in by White. Tries to get it to Blanchard, loses control. Back to the Eagles. Eagles again into the middle. Attack in the middle up to the outside. Back to the middle to reset. Kinsella gets the steal in the middle of the field. Sends it up to White. Racing up the field against an Eagle. An Eagle blocks it, tries to take control. Looks like she kicks it on the end line and goes to a corner kick to the Cardinals. Four and a half left here in the first half of this match between the Trainer Cardinals and Underwood Eagles. Cardinals are down 2 0 with a corner kick. The Cardinal drum trying to get the boost of the Cardinal fans. Misses the inside again. Goal kick for the Eagles. Eagles drop it into the middle again. Try and attack that middle area. Looks like their strategy is to control the middle, use a little bit of speed on the outside, but it's really pushing the ball up the middle of the field. Cardinals with a throw in, loose control of it, goes back to the Eagles for a throw in. Again, kicked out, goes to the Eagles. Eagles have a substitution. Looks like junior number one, Trista McMullen, is in the game. Three minutes till halftime, which means Cardinals need to hang on to this deficit of only two. Let the Cardinal coaching staff get together develop a strategy for the second half and have them come out and get some points on the board. Eagles working that inside again. Zadalis gains control of the ball.
Minahan kind of loses control of the touch, gains it back. Sends it cross to White. White to Blanchard. Blanchard loses control, but Kinsella gets it. Sends it down the field. Eagles get it back into the middle. Trying to work that outside action. Loose control and goes out the sideline. Cardinal throw in. Up the field, Hauser goes one on three, tries to get it in to Eitman. Loses it. Eagles gain control and get it back into the middle of that field. Goes out the sideline. Cardinal ball for a throw in. Up the field. Eagles get a control of it, work it on that outside again. Send it down the side. Bach gets control, gets it back to Yokum. Yokum then sends it up into the middle. Blanchard trying to work a little footwork to get it down the field for the Cardinals. Blocked again by the Eagles who take control of it in midfield. Cardinals have been getting the ball back into the, from that mil, midfield attack by the Eagles, but just cannot get anything to work on the outside. Got a little hand touch by an Eagle. Cardinal ball about around the 50-yard line. At midfield, 26 seconds left to go. It's a little thrown off. I didn't hear the one-minute call. Got 15 seconds. 10 seconds left. 7. 5. Cardinals trying to put on a little punch here at the end. Time. So we're at halftime. Cardinals are down 2-0. Cardinals will gather up, trying to work on a little strategy to try and stop any more scoring by the Eagles. Try and get their offense going. Going to take a little break. We'll be back in about nine and a half minutes for the second half. Again, we thank you for watching with us tonight. I'm Tim Navra. I'm here for Fuller Digital Solutions on the train.
Welcome back to Trainer High School in the Cardinal Field, otherwise known in the football world as the Cardinal Pitch. Here at halftime with the Trainer Girls soccer team down 2-0 to the Underwood Eagles. Eagles head coach Tyler Nelson had a great game plan of attack in the middle, then hit to the outside to score one of the goals. The other goal came off of a corner kick. A header into the goal, which gives them that 2-0 lead here at halftime. Head Cardinal Courtney Murphy resets everything here for the second half, and the Cardinals trying to get on the board, tie it up, and even take the lead to try and upset the sixth-ranked Eagles. Eagles will get the ball to start the second half here. They'll be heading from left to right on your screen, from east to west on the field, and into the sun and wind. Second half has started. We're underway. Eagles try and attack that middle like they have the whole first half. They've gotten good results out of it. Cardinals are going to have to push it up a little bit on the defense. Again, Eagles in the middle of the field. <laughs> Bach and Blanchard trying to get control of that ball for the Eagles, or for the Cardinals. Blanchard finally gets control of it to Minahan. Minahan back to Blanchard. Blanchard to Shroggy. Shroggy goes off of her toe to an Eagle. Eagles up the near side. Drops it down the field. Cardinals stop the first attack in the second half of the Eagles, but the Eagles gain control and it's back to that middle of the field. Nice little shot and stab. Saved by Zadalis. Cardinal keeper between the pipes. Is always a sophomore for the Cardinals. Up the field it goes, off the turf, high bounce, about 10 yard bounce. Eagles get control. Punch it back into the middle of the field, looking around for their attack. Eagles get the attack, drop it in. Zadalis comes forward with a nice save. Stops that eagle attack. Pushes it up the field. Hauser plays it off the turf. Tries to get touches on. It's taken away by the Eagles. Eagles drop it back to their keeper. And then back up into that middle of the field again. Josie Lewis takes control. With a little attack of her own up the middle of the field. Keeps control. Punches it. Tries to drop it in for Shroggy. Eagles nab it before Shroggy gets to it. Nice attack by the Cardinals. Lewis takes it from her defensive position up the middle of the field. Tries to drop it in for Shroggy. Doesn't materialize for anything but a good attack by the Cardinals. Cardinals get the ball back. We'll have a nice throw in. Yoakum with the throw in here on the near side. Up the field to Hauser. Past Hauser to the Eagles. Eagles get it back into that midfield. Punch to the outside. Here might be another attack by the Cardinals. Stabbed by the Eagles. They keep it on this near side. Look to attack. Up the field. Punched out by Josie Lewis. Throw in Eagles. Eagles try a little bit of attack. Lewis nabs it, trying and clears it out. Doesn't clear it out far enough. Only gets about to the 20. Leaves it for the Eagles attack again. 
Zadalis has to come out of the pipes. A little bit of tap there by an eagle on Zadalis, but she still holds control of the ball. Plays the bounce. Hauser to Blanchard. Blanchard back to Hauser. Yoakum down the line, just drops it out of bounds on the side, near side. Eagles with the throw in. Eagles run the ball up to where it went out. Nice overhead toss by the Eagles. Picked up by Minahan though. Here might be a breakaway for Hauser. Hauser to Shroggy. Shroggy doesn't get to it fast enough. Zadellis tries to get it out, tries to give a little momentum back to the Cardinals. Eagles take control, and up the middle of the field they go again, try and drop it in. Warded off by Kennedy. Ava Kennedy wards off the attack by the Eagles. Tries to clear it out, the Eagles gain control, and back to that middle of the field, they try and attack again. Shroggy did some nice battling there to try and hold off the, car the Eagles. Eagles stab and get a hold of the ball again. They bring it up this near side. Bach gets the steal to try and ward off that attack. Tries to move it up the field. She continues with it. Drops it to Hauser. Hauser's got Shroggy in the midfield. Kinsella on the upper side. Kinsella with the shot. And just misses. Just misses that outside corner of the Eagles for a Cardinal goal. However, Cardinals get a corner kick. Try and put some more pressure on the Eagles. Cardinal drum is beating away to try and get our fans fired up here for a Cardinal, Cardinal goal. Eagles clear out the corner kick. A couple Cardinals were nearby to try and get an attack. Eagles cleared it out. Gives it back to the Cardinals for a throw in. Cardinals trying to get an attack. Goes out the end line for a goal kick for the Eagles. Cardinals try to get a little stab at it again. Blanchard tries to get a nice little kick into it. Put some pressure on the Eagles. So far, Cardinals are putting a lot more pressure on the, the Eagle defense. It's a good sign. Oh. Cardinal fans are in disagreement with that call. Said it should have went off of an eagle to a Cardinal throw in. However, the side judge says wrong way, goes back to the Eagles. Eagles try and advance it with the throw. Yoakum tries to clear it out on the defensive end. Eagles punch it out of bounds. Throw in Cardinals. Wasinius comes back into the ball game. 31 minutes left here in the second half. Laney Wasinius comes in. Brandon White. Yoakum with the throw in. To Blanchard. Blanchard back to Yoakum. Yoakum up the middle to Shroggy. Loses the quick touch on it. Eagle keeper with the pickup. Yes, 
Eagle Keeper drops it deep past the 50. Past the midline, Wasinius gets the steal. Goes off of an eagle. Cardinal throw in. As I said before, Cardinals are putting a lot more pressure on the eagle defense in this second half. Wasinius throws it in for the Cardinals. Drops it in the box. Shroggy tries to put a little pressure. Eagles get it cleared out. I probably won't have to say where they're going to go. They're going to cross the field. Try and switch it. Blanchard gets the steal on the switch to Bach. Bach outside to Yoakum. Yoakum to Blanchard. Blanchard to Bach. Bach tries to go between the legs. Try and get a nutmeg, but nothing's made. Eagles gain control. Blanchard tries to steal it back. Gets a nice punch out, but Eagles gain control again. Good stab by Blanchard. Wasinius tries to clear it out of that defensive end. Eagles are going to try and put together an attack. Up this near side with an attack, and it goes deep off the end line. It's going to be a goal kick for your Cardinals. 29 minutes left to go in the match. Sixth ranked Eagle Un Underwood Eagles lead your trainer Cardinals 2-0. Eagles gain control of the goal kick. Tries and dump it in. Lewis with the header to try and clear it out. Doesn't get it cleared out. Eagles still attacking. High off the crossbar. So Dallas with another save. Cardinals try and clear it out. Yoakum clears it out, gets it out the sideline. It'll be an eagle throw in. Eagles try and get a offensive offensive threat put together as the Dallas nabs it and tries to clear it out. Cardinals can't keep control. Goes back to the Underwood. Wasinius, nice steal. Eagles punch it out the side for a Cardinal throw in. Yoakum with the throw in for the Cardinals. Throws it in right to the Eagle who punches it up the field for the Eagles. Bach gets it, drops it back in, but the Eagles gain control and uh, here they come. Down the middle. Give and go. Drops it in. It's one on one. Ava Kennedy. Nice punch out. Try and ward off any Eagle threat. going to be a goal kick for your Cardinals. Lewis is taking the goal kick. Sends it up the middle of the field. Eagles gain control. Drop it back into the defensive end. Bach takes it away and sends it out the side. Try and ward off any threat. It'll be an Eagle throw in. Lewis missed times that for the header. Eagles take control of the ball again. Trying to attack that middle of the field. Punches it into the box and is Dallas. Grabs a hold. Takes her time. Tries to clear it out high and deep. Playing it off the turf is Shroggy. Shroggy chest bump. Drops it in. 
Good little run by Hauser. Hauser gets control. Back to Blanchard. Looks like an eagle punches it out. For a cardinal throw in, that gives us a substitution. And the substitution, we've got Andon White back into the match for Gabby Blanchard. White with the throw in. Drops it back to Yoakum. Yoakum gets a touch on it, stolen away by the Eagles. Twenty-five minutes left to go in the match. Underwood Eagles two, your trainer Colonels zero. In this Western Iowa Conference matchup. Eagles have attacked the middle. Gotten a score out of that. They've gotten a score out of a corner kick. Cardinals will put on a little bit of a threat here in the second half. Had some attacks. Just could not coordinate any type of strategy or attack to get a goal for our Cardinals. Eagles have done a nice job of controlling the ball, especially midfield in the middle of the field. Minahan trying to get something going for your Cardinals. Loses control. Here come the Eagles. Kennedy wards that off. Tries to send it deep. Picked up by the Eagles again. Up oh, a little bit of a bump by Bach. Gets a call. Be a free kick for the Eagles. Eagles are well, or the Cardinals are well off of the 10 yards required. Eagles tap it, send it in. Kick toward goal goes through the uprights of the football. However, that does not count for three points. Cardinals will get the ball back for a goal kick. Substitutions. Gabby Blanchard back in for the Cardinals in for Addie Minahan. Goal kick was punched by Eagles. Ever picked up by Bach, tries to send it up the field to White, loses control, and it goes out. Eagle throwing. Eagles try and throw it into an empty space. Try and get some offense working there that way. Punched out. Cardinals trying to put a little pressure, trying to get that ball back. Eagles have held control of the ball possession. Time-wise, probably three-quarters of the time of the match compared to the Cardinals. Cardinals get a throw in. Tries to throw it toward the offensive end. Gets a little bit of a push. Makes the Eagle defense play a little bit. They gain control, and it's back to that middle of the field for the Eagles. Up the field, the Eagles come. Cardinals ward that thread off. Kinsella tries to drop it in deep. Shoggy trying to run it down. Eagle keeper punches that out of bounds. Goes to a Cardinal throw in. Ella Avis comes into the Cardinal lineup, taking the place of Laney Wasinius. Throw in for the Cardinals to Bach. Bach tries to take a shot. 30-yard shot. 
into the sun, which might have helped, but the eagle keeper gets a hold of it. Eagle send it middle of the field with ball control. Playing a nice triangle ball control back to the middle, to the outside, back to the middle. So Dallas is there to ward off the threat again. Looks like Cardinals will get that throw in down on the offensive end. Cardinals get it back, try and drop it. Cardinals get a hold of it, though. Eagles. Again, get that ball control up the middle of the field. Lewis fights it off. Tries to get it to the outside. Yokum doing a little fighting down in the corner. Loses control, so Dallas goes ahead and gets it. Tries to reset the Cardinal offense. Eagles drop it back. Cardinals trying to put pressure. Shroggy and Hauser trying to put some pressure on the Eagle defenders. Eagles kick it out of bounds for a Cardinal throw in. Throw in by White toward Hauser. Yoakum gets a hold of it. Cardinals have a little more fight in the second half, down 2-0 to the sixth-ranked Eagles. With about 18 minutes left to go in the match. Bach tries to come up from the defensive end to try and put some pressure. Loses the ball. Here go the Eagles down this near sideline. Trying to punch it back into that middle area for the Eagles to try and put that pressure on the Cardinals. Clears it out. Header by Shragi to Hauser. Hauser trying to get control. Tries to switch field. Doesn't get through the defense of the Eagles. And White putting pressure on the Eagles. Blatcher comes over to help out. Shragi gets it, tries to send it to Hauser. Goes out the side for an eagle throw in. Substitution comes in for the Eagles. Remy Paulson comes in for Lola Paulson. And for your Cardinals, Addy Minahan comes in for Ella Avis. Eagles get the throw and try and push it upfield. Yoakum punches it out. Got another substitution. Trista McMullen comes in for the Eagles for Haley Stangle. Haley Stangle, excuse me. Eagles throw it in up the near side off of Bach. Out of bounds again for an Eagle throw in. Ooh, that throw in looked a little bit side of her head. Collegiate ranks and professional ranks, that would not be a legal throw in. She got that one a little more on top of her head for the throw in for the Eagles. But they kick it out of, out of bounds and it goes to the Trader Colonels. Yeah. 
Blanchard to Yokum, Yokum back to Blanchard. Blanchard trying to get to Wasinius. Tries to get it back control. Kicks it up the sideline to Hauser. Goes off an eagle. Cardinal up the sideline again for the throw in. Fifteen and a half minutes left to go in the match. Cardinals are still down 2 0. Apologize for any type of problems we have with our scoreboard and the lighting of it. It looks a little washed out on my screen. I'll try and remember to give you updates as much as I can. Eagles try or the Cardinals try and push a threat. Thwarted by the Eagles. Now the Eagles try to do the same. Thwarted by the Cardinals. Shragi trying to get there and outrun everybody. Almost gets to it. Eagle keeper. Honan throws it out of or kicks it out of bounds to the Cardinal throw in. Unfortunately, goes off the end line for a goal kick for the Eagles. Stangle comes back in for the Eagles. Comes in for Ward. Cardinals trying to put a little bit more pressure on the Eagles. Trey, Cardinals still fighting for it. Laney Wasinius keeps fighting for that Cardinal ball. Gets it back to Blanchard. Blanchard to Wasinius. Tries to drop it into the middle. Eagles kick it out. Box there. To Minahan. Minahan to the outside. Kinsella's trying to get an attack going for the Cardinals. Stopped by the Eagles. They take it up the outside. Eagle def or Eagle offense is pressing. Good defense by Kennedy for the Cardinals trying to throw it off any type of offensive threat. Cardinal defense, hands on the needs. A little tired. They've been working hard tonight. Eagles try and drop it in. It's going to go to an end line, goes to a goal kick. Josie Lewis will take the goal kick for the Cardinals. Pops it out the side to Yoakum. Yoakum to Wasinius up the near side. Laney fights off two Cardinals, however, side judge says it went out. Throw in Eagles. Oh, misfortunate call for the Cardinals. Says legs were taken out from underneath there. Gives the free kick then to the Eagles. Eagles drop it back into the middle. So Dallas comes up. Tries to time the jump. Being battled in there by an Eagle. So Dallas says hello, but the ball is mine. Kicks it deep for hopefully a Cardinal threat. Again, that Eagle defense back up the middle and away they go. Couple players falling down. Ball is still controlled by the Eagles. Goes out the inline. Goal kick, Cardinals. Senior Josie Lewis for the Cardinals will be taking the goal kick. Eleven and a half minutes here in the match. Sixth ranked Underwood Eagles coming in four and zero. Lead your trainer Cardinals, who also are four and zero. Two zero here. Eagles putting on another threat, bringing it up the near sideline. Punches it in. Zadalis is there. 
Zadellis with the throw out. Far side, Ellie Kinsella. Tries to get to Claire Shragi. She overruns it. Luckily, it's popped back to Gabby Blanchard. Gabby Blanchard in the midfield to Shragi. Shragi trying to get on her horse to get to the outside. Can't get there just a second late. Eagles pop it back into the midfield, take control. Working it around. Trying to go up the far sideline. Ava Kennedy doing a little defensive work. Little push and shove, gets the call. Too much pushing and shoving on the Eagles. Cardinal ball. Cardinal set it up to Blanchard. Blanchard trying to get it to Shragi. Shragi tips it in front of her and tries to get the horse going. Gets run down by the Eagles. Eagles lose touch to Kinsella. Kinsella to Shragi. Back to Kinsella. Takes a shot. Hits the legs of an eagle. Cardinals are putting on pressure. Looks like it goes out the inline for a corner kick. Substitutions are coming in. In for your Cardinals and in white. Replaces Laney Wasinius, Lola Paulson, and Reagan Ward come in for the Eagles. The Eagle or the Cardinal drum tries to beat up some momentum here for the Cardinals with Gabby Blanchard taking the corner kick. Puts it up in the air, punched out by the keeper, and gains control. Eagles put on another threat up this near sideline. Yoakum punches it off of an eagle for a cardinal throw in. Quick throw in by Yoakum. Throws it up to Hauser. Goes over Hauser, but Lewis is there to try and push that cardinal threat. Eagles gain control and slow it back up. Near sideline for the Eagles. Cardinals or Eagles get control of the ball again. Yoakum throws the any type of pass to the outside, sends it up to the middle, but the Eagles are standing there. Gets it, tries to push it up again. Back to that middle of the field where the Eagles have worked strategically to get two goals. Drops it into the box, nothing there. So Dallas with the pickup, the kick. To Shragi. Shragi plays it off of the turf. Goes deep. Shragi's going to try and run her down. Seven minutes left to go in the match. Eagles or Cardinals are still down 2 0 to the Eagles. Lewis in midfield. Tries to drop it into the box a little ahead of Shragi. Eagle keeper Avery Owen in there, the junior. For Underwood. Yoakum tries to get control. Eagles steal it away. Bring it up this near sideline. Looked like it went out of bounds, and it did. Went out the sideline. Cardinal throw in. Yoakum throws it in to Blanchard. Blanchard tries to gain a little bit of control of the ball. Drops it back to Bach. 
Back to the middle to Lewis. Lewis up uh, the outside to Minahan. Addie Minahan carries it up the field. Drops it down the sideline to Kinsella. Kinsella with a good run. Tries to punch it back into the middle. Back behind our Cardinals. Lewis. Josie Lewis. Cardinal senior tries to gain control of again. Tries to start another their offensive push. Shragi winds up to the kick, but stolen away by the Eagles. Bach gains it back for the Cardinals to White on this near sideline. Cardinals try and put something back together again with five minutes left to go in the match. Trying to put some pressure on the Eagles, try and get that ball, try and get a goal. Gain some momentum. Eagles get it back to the middle and drop it deep into the Cardinal defense. Back to Zadalis. Kicks it out the side. I think she mishit that and kicked it out the side. It'll be an Eagle throw in. Four and a half left to go in this match. Underwood Eagles up 2-0 on your trainer Colonels. Cardinals are going to try and work something together. Kick it, get it kicked out of bounds. Goes back to the Eagles. Deep throw in for the Eagles on this near sideline. Tries to work at cross field, but it goes out the inline. Cardinal goal kick. Josie Lewis with your Cardinal goal kick. Kicks it out the side to Yoakum. Yoakum tries to work this near sideline to Hauser. Allie tries to block out any eagle to the middle of Lewis. Lewis tries to switch field. Eagles head it back to their keeper who can pick it up. If it's headed back to the keeper and she's in the, the box, she's able to use her hands. Kicks it to midfield. Cardinals try and get something started. Again, stopped by the Eagles, and the Eagles control the ball, headed down the middle of the field. A lot of open space for the Eagles. Lewis, Lewis comes up from the outside. It's dumped into the box. So Dallas kicks it out. First touch is by Shragi from the A kick. White sends it deep. Trying to get a push on. Eagle keeper stops it. Pressure makes her push it. Pick it up. Folks, we've got two and a half minutes left to go here in the match between the Underwood Eagles and your trainer Cardinals. Cardinals are down 2 0. This Western Iowa Conference matchup. We thank you for watching on Fuller Digital Solutions and your trainer Cardinals Broadcasting Network. I'm Tim Nava trying to help you through this match. Ball goes out of bounds, gives it back to the Eagles. Eagles with the throw in. Stick around later. We have the boy matchup. Between your trainer Cardinals and the Underwood Eagles. Cardinals get a goal kick. This time Lily Yocum will be taking the goal kick for your Cardinals. Sends it down this near sideline. Hauser gets control of it. Doesn't see the outside. It's picked up by the Eagles. Shragi gets the steal. Pops it forward to Kinsella. Kinsella fights for it. Tries to tap it. Hits the upright of the field of the goal. The football goal post gives it to a 
goal kick for you. One minute. The Eagles. There's our one minute call here in the match by our public address announcer, Jeremiah Miska. Appreciate everything he does for our trainer Colonels. Colonels trying to work something together here in this last minute to try and get a goal on the board. Eagles are just taking their time, running that clock down. We're down to 30 seconds. Eagles try and bring it up this side and waste some time. Colonels drop it back to try and get a quick, quick offensive threat going. Eagles are having nothing of that, and we'll get the throw in. With the time counting down to 10 seconds. That's time in this match, in this Western Iowa Conference matchup between the sixth ranked Underwood Eagles and your trainer Cardinals. That attack of the Eagles was too much for the Cardinals tonight, and the Cardinals fall 2-0. Let's give another round of applause to these ladies. We again thank everyone for watching our broadcast of the trainer girls soccer program with our head coach. Courtney Murphy, assisted by Mike Zadalis and Tim Buck. Great effort, much better effort in that second half by the Cardinals. Kind of brought things back together again to try and put on an office, offensive threat. Wasn't enough to score a goal. Cardinals go down to 4-1 and one on the season. The Eagles go to 5-0. and oh. Our next match will begin in about... 10 minutes with our boys Western Iowa Conference matchup between our trainer Cardinals and the Underwood Eagles.
Welcome back, everyone, to Trainer High School on this beautiful evening of the Western Iowa Conference matchup between the Underwood Eagles that come in at 2-2, two and two, led by head coach Eric Rogers and your Trainer Cardinals, which are third ranked in the state, coming in at 3-0, and oh, led by assistant coach Mike McSorley and the head coach Jason McIntosh. Have our captains meet at midfield. Then our introduction, they'll be on our way with this evening matchup. Thank you for everyone who's partaking in our inaugural broadcast of Trainer Boys Soccer here on Fuller Digital Solutions. If you'd like to be a sponsor of our broadcast, please contact Fuller Digital Solutions at Gmail. Dot com. Let them know that you want to be a Trainer Cardinal sponsor of our matches. We'd be happy to have you. If you'd like to help assist with any of our Trainer Athletics, please join our Trainer Athletic Booster Club. If you'd like to volunteer to help with any of our athletic or any other type of activity, please contact our athletic director, Jason Shupp, at the high school. Let him know you're interested in helping and assisting with anything that our Cardinals do. Looks like the meeting at half is finished. We'll now have our introductions by our public address announcer, Jeremiah Miska. And we'll be then underway. Now for your starting lineups. First, for the Underwood Eagles, a junior, double zero, Hayden Hune. A freshman, number zero, Chase Ogle. A junior, number one, Easton Robertson. A senior, number three, Boy Bertles. A junior, number four, Manuel Ro Rogers. A junior, number five, Alex Cook. A senior, number seven, Dyson Rasmussen. Sophomore, number eight, Connor Brummett. A senior, number nine, Gus Bashore. A senior, number 10, Caden Ogle. And a senior, number 20, Graham Jensen. There's our introductions for the evening. The two and two Eagles come in with their keeper, Hewn, followed by Ogle, Robertson, Betts, Rogers, Cook, Rasmussen, Brummert, Bashore, Ogle, and Jensen. Again, the Eagles are led by head coach Eric Rogers. For your trainer, Cardinals which is led by assistant coach Mike McSorley and the head coach Jason McIntosh. We have senior number one, Andrew Keller. Senior number two, Brock Polin. A senior number three, Danny Kinsella. Sophomore number six, Jude Miska. Junior number seven, Nathan White. Junior number 10, Jarrett McIntosh. A junior number 11, Peter Young. Senior number 14, Tyson McCain. Sophomore number 17, Corbin Teen. Freshman, number 23, Aiden Keller, and the man between the pipes tonight for your Cardinals 
is senior number 88, Charlie Schrage. Your Cardinals are in the red and white striped kits while the Eagles come in with the white kits. Again, welcome to Cardinal Field, or otherwise known in football as the pitch. The officials are ready. There's the whistle, and the Eagles start with the ball here. Stolen away by Kinsella. Kinsella to the outside. McCain gives a little cross. Hewn, the keeper, picks it up for the Eagles. Throws it out to midfield. Stolen away by the Cardinals. Cardinals putting on a lot of pressure outside to Miska. Miska keeps control of it. To the middle, to Keller. Oh, Miska trips on the turf a little bit. Turf toe to Kinsella. Oh, a little bit of a push inside the middle by Aiden Keller. Eagle send it out the back, and it looks like a corner kick for your Cardinals. I think I missed one of the Cardinals there. I think it was 13, Bryce McIntosh is in the match for our Cardinals. Cardinals with the corner, leaves it low. Eagles pop it up. Nathan White's there to get it back for our Cardinals. To Miska, Miska back to White. Little two-man play between White and Miska and the Eagles pop it out. Cardinal throw in. Throwing goes to Kinsella, drops it low to the middle of the box. Eagles try and clear it out, nothing doing. Keller, senior Andrew Keller, keeps it in. Tries to get it popped in by Kinsella, nothing. Eagles try and slow it down, clear it out, push the Cardinals back onto defense. White tries to get it off of a no bounce. Gets control, but pops it out. Eagles get the throw in. White battles that throw in. However, pushes it out of bounds. Another eagle throw in a little farther down the field. Deep throw into the box for the Eagles. A little collision by the Cardinals and the Eagles. Whistle's blown. Too much aggressiveness by the Eagles. It goes to the Cardinals. Teen takes it down the field for the Cardinals. Eagles get the control midfield. Little foot fight there between Aiden Keller and an Eagle. Peter Young bouncing around with the Eagles. However, it goes out the end line. Goes to the Cardinals for a goal kick. Cardinals try and get things set up for an offensive attack. Casella looks like he took off just a tad too early for an off, offsides call. Eagles get the ball on the line where the offside was called at.
Danny took off before that ball was kicked by a Cardinal, which led to the offsides call. Eagles send it down the midfield, get it out to the outside. Looks like Cardinals get the control of the ball with the throw in. Little chaos with the ball. Cardinals try and get it settled. Miska, Keller. Aiden Keller trying to put on a little defense. Jude Miska, a little defense, steals the ball away, drops it into Kinsella. Kinsella gets a run out. Cardinals are advancing, tries to keep it in from the inline. He does. Drops it back to Miska. Miska pops it up in the air. Looks like McCain with trying to get a shoulder on it. Andrew Keller tries to get around that outside. Nothing's doing. The Eagles clear it out, and they take it. One on three, two on four now. Trying to get a run out, trying to use a little bit of deception with his feet. Cardinals slow him up. That's Jarrett McIntosh playing good defense to slow up that Eagles threat. Jarrett McIntosh. Does a nice job of trying to get it cleared out. It's touched by an eagle and it goes out to a throw in for your Cardinals. I hope it was called, uh, wasn't called out. It was called a little too much aggressiveness on the eagle and so it's a free kick by your Cardinals. Teen with the free kick, sends it down the field. The side judge says Kinsella is fine. Takes it, one on three, gives a slide. However, the eagle keeper is there to pick it up. Got a little bit of a discussion going on between the head official in the middle. Something wrong with the ball, not enough air in the ball. Try and not... Get blamed for any deflate gate going on here, Trainer High School. Official says, center official said it was a little bit of a hook by Kinsella. Gives the ball back to the Eagles. Eagles send it up the field to a quick run out. Teen races it down, kicks it out to an Eagle throw in. Kicked out of bounds, goes back to the Eagles. Eagles for the throw and throws it to midfield. Cardinals battle for a little bit, try and get it back, which they do. Then the Eagles battle right back. Bodies are flying, too many bodies are flying and the official gives it to the Eagles. Free kick from about the 30 yard line Eagle set up in a little offensive formation. Try to get something to work. Kicks it straight forward, but Charlie Schroggy's there to nab it. Rolls it out to White. Ball's kicked off of an Eagle, goes out of bounds. To the Cardinals. First substitution for the Cardinal is Brock Poland comes in for the match. Comes in for number 13, Bryce McIntosh. Cardinals get the throw in. However, the Eagles get possession of the ball. Brings it up the near sideline. Tries to get across. It's called it went off of a Cardinal, so the Eagles will get a corner kick. With about 30 minutes and 45 seconds, the Eagles get a corner. We've got a stoppage of play here, a discussion by our center official. Too much action going on near the goal of the Cardinals. Ball's up in the air. 
Tries to do a back pedal. Not sure exactly what it's called. It might have been a touch, hand touch. Ball goes to the Cardinals. I didn't see any call by the center official, but I may have missed that. Corbin Teen sends it down the field for your Cardinals. Eagles get control back. Olga tries to get control of it, pops it downfield. However, it goes out the end line. Goal kick for the Cardinals. Shroggy takes it quickly to Teen. Tweens, teen sends it up the outside. Pushes it down the field to Kinsella. Nice lead. Kinsella's got one on one, stabs it, and it goes to the back of the net for a Cardinal goal. With 29 25 left in the first half, Danny Kinsella takes a Cardinal one on one and scores it to the back of the net for a 1 0 advantage here in the first half. like a good pass out by Peter Young out from the deep corner of the Cardinals down the field to where the Cardinals are streaking to Danny Kinsella who went one-on-one -on -one to get that nice touch to the side of the net for the Cardinal goal. Eagles start off with the ball, lost it, gains it back. Peter Young comes through. Oh, a little bit of a touch. Center official blows it dead. Free kick, trying to go quick here. Stoppage of play. Center official comes over. Has to say his hellos to Coach McSorley and Coach McIntosh. Quick discussion. However, we have a yellow card called on, looks like our coaching staff or the bench crew. Yellow coach or the yellow card goes to our coaching staff. Balls put back into play. Corbin Teen sends it up the middle. Andrew Keller, Keller to Poland. Poland loses his first touch on it. Eagle sent it up the field. Jarrett McIntosh gets Cardinal control back again. Poland was streaking down the middle. Mistimed everything, and Eagle punches it out. Gives Cardinal a ball throw in. Peter Young with the throw in for the Cardinals. Andrew Keller. With the throw in, touch, back to Young. Young gets it punched out. Oh, it says it's, he punched it out. Eagle throw in. Cardinals drop it into the Eagle box. Pressure's put on by McCain. Senior Tyson McCain with a little bit of pressure in the box there. Trying a couple Cardinals fighting for it. Andrew Keller comes out with it. Eagles fight back for it. Gained advantage. Sends it up the near field. Streaking Easton Robertson for the Eagles. Gets the throw in. Throws it in. Bounces it off his own player, and it goes out to a Cardinal throw, and Cardinals throw it up the field. Lose the first touch. A little blockage of play, and it goes back to the Eagles. Looks 
Looks like the ball will be set at the 20. Eagles put it in the play. Tries to go cross field. Cardinals headed out, but loses touch by Poland. Eagles keep control of the ball. Oh, they try and punch it in the middle, but Shroggy's there to grab it. Stops the Eagle advancement. Shroggy clears it out to midfield. Eagles head it back into the Cardinal defense. White pushes it up the field for a quick run by Kinsella. Kinsella and the keeper. Keeper is out of the box, uses his hands. 26-10, left in the first half. The keeper uses his hands outside of the box, which leads... To a looks like a yellow card. I can't see. Oh, he's just typing something. Oh, it looks like the keeper's keeper's glove must have broken. Trying to figure out the call here. The keeper was out of the box. We're checking the rules. It might be an intentional, which could be a red. Which means the keeper, Hewn, will be out. Underwood is not happy about this. Head coach Eric Rogers, a little unhappy about the call. So we're gonna have a yellow card now on the Underwood bench, the head coach, Eric Rogers. New keeper will be coming in. For Underwood, it's listed at number 35, which I have down as Ryland Watercoat. A sophomore will be keeper. Cardinals will get the ball where the other keeper, Austin, Hine touched it. That is a red card, so Hine is out of this ball game. All right, after all of that, we're about ready to get play started again. Kinsella with the shot. Keeper drops it. Makes the save. Throws it out of the box. We're back to play. Tyson McCain with the steal to Poland. Poland back to McCain, but it wasn't hard enough to get to him. Eagles getting control. Cardinals putting that pressure on. Young up to Kinsella. Kinsella pops it up in the air. Goes out the end. Goal, goal kick for the Eagles. Well, we know there's always a contest between the Eagles and the Cardinals in every sport we've had. Soccer is just the same through the years. We've always had a lot of heated contests with each other. Tonight, looks like some things were happening. Nothing between the kids. It's the coaching staffs that have gotten the yellow cards tonight. Cardinals keep getting their throw in on the far side. Poland trying to gain control of the ball. Gets kicked back. Teen gets it for the Cardinals. Up into the sunlight. Sun's going down gradually here at Cardinal Field. 
Eagles are going to try and put on a little pressure. Nathan White tries to ride it out of bounds toward the end line, which it does to a Cardinal goal kick. Good defense by Nathan White. Nathan's a junior here at Trainer High School. Good defense put on. Covered the ball, rode it until it went out the end line, giving us the Cardinals a goal kick. Cardinals advance it down the field. Gets close to that far sideline. Nothing's called yet. A little ball handling going on. Some dribbling between the Eagles and the Cardinals. Goes out of bounds on the side. Cardinal throw in, quick throw in from Poland to Kinsella. Teen sends it back deep down the field. Kinsella's on the run, gives the header. Pushes it into the box. Andrew Keller tries to put a little pressure, and the eagle keeper kicks it out the side. We have a substitution. For the Eagles, Connor Brummett comes in for your Cardinals. Freshman number 22, Sawyer Goss, comes into the match for the Cardinals, replaces... Senior number 14, Tyson McCain. Throw in by the Cardinals. Pops it to the middle. Jude Miska tries to time it for a header, misses it. Chases it down, pops it out of bounds. It goes to a throw in for the Eagles. Eagles get the throw in. Cardinals get it back. Keller sends it to the middle of the field. To Kinsella. Kinsella tries a little left-footed tap into there, and it just rolls to the outside of the goal. Out the end line. Eagle goal kick. Cardinals get the ball back. Aiden Keller tries to advance. He keeps it in the middle. Poland taps it with his foot. Back of the net. Cardinal goal. With 21-39 left in the first half. Brock Poland with the goal. Puts the Cardinals up 2-0. I wonder if it did. <coughs> oh, Jared, put another point up for us. Welcome back, folks. We had just a little bit of technical difficulty there. I can see on my screen we're able to see our scoreboard a little bit better now. 
Eagles try to take advantage of a free kick. Shroggy stabs it in the air. Sends it down the field. Again, welcome back. It's if you can tell by our the clock on our screen. 20 minutes left. Cardinals are up 2-0. At 29-25, Danny Kinsella. And then at 21-39, Brock Poland sends it to the back of the net for the second Cardinal goal. And Poland's threatening right now. Kicks it over to Goss. Goss tries with his right foot. Missed times it. Rolls out the back for a goal kick. Again, welcome back to Cardinal Boys Soccer. Western Iowa Conference matchup between the Trainer Cardinals and the Underwood Eagles. Trainer comes into the match 3-0 and and ranked third in Class 1A. The Underwood Eagles are 2-2 two two coming into tonight's matchup. Free kick for the Cardinals. Around the 30-yard line, so Peter Young takes it, sends it to the middle. It's headed by an eagle and picked up by the keeper. <clears throat> Had some happenings here tonight, if you haven't, or just now, actually, just tuning in to us. Had a yellow card on the... Trainer coaching staff, a yellow card on the Underwood coaching staff. We had the Underwood keeper come out of the box, intentionally grab the ball, which leads to a, leads to a red card, which sends him out of the game. With, then he is replaced by the backup keeper. Cardinals have scored two goals here in this half. They're threatening again. Jude Miska trying to use some dribbling technique to try and get around the Eagle defender. <clears throat> Bounces into him. Trying to work it around. Eagles gain back control of the ball. Drops it to, the, to their player. White stabs at it. Bounces back up. Keeps stabbing at it. And the Eagles send it deep. Team gets a hold of it to McIntosh. Jarrett McIntosh, the junior, tries to send it to the middle, but the Eagles take a hold of the ball. Come up the middle of the field. It's open for the breakout, and Shroggy stops the breakout. <laughs> Senior keeper Charlie Shroggy with the stop sends it up to midfield. Kinsella with the header. Poland's going to try and outrace him down the field. For the Cardinals, pops it back up, gains control on the touch, tries to get a nice kick, but it's blocked by an eagle. Peter Young into the middle to Keller. Eagles outrun the Cardinals to the ball. Okay, Nogle gets it is fouled. For the free kick. Eagles get set up in offense, try and set something up here to try and get a goal back on the Cardinals. Goes through a couple Cardinals team, tries to punch it out. Keller gets it to the middle. Kinsella tries to get a touch. We've got a foul back here around the 45 yard line. Official says the touch is back. Cardinals will get the ball.
pass to the middle of the field by Teen. <clears throat> Aiden Keller battling for it. Kinsella heads it back to the middle. Andrew Keller takes hold of it. Pops it up to Kinsella. Kinsella doesn't get there fast enough. Eagle keepers there. Slides and recovers. Eagle keeper pops it up midfield, settled by McIntosh to Teen. Teen sends it back down in the Cardinal offensive end. Andrew Keller overruns it, battles back though, keeps fighting for the ball and gets it. <clears throat> However, the punch is a little too far and the Eagles get hold of it. Okay, no goal. Gets it midfield, tries to kick with that left foot, sends it wide of the net. Substitutes are coming in for the game. Owen Larson for the Eagles. And for your Cardinals, Tyson McCain comes in for Jude Misko. Cardinal goal kick. 13-35 on the clock. Cardinals lead 2-0 this Western Iowa Conference matchup. Again, thanks for supporting us in this broadcast. Kinsella tries to put a one-man pressure on, and the Eagles kick it at back of the net, gives a corner kick for your Cardinals. With about 13 minutes left to go in this first half, two exciting goals by your Cardinals. Puts them up 2-0. Cardinals pop it up. Young tries to get to it to head it. Eagles pop it out to Aiden Keller. It's popped back up in the air. Cross field. Tyson McCain's unable to control it. Rolls out the back. Eagle ball. Substitution for the Eagles. Number 13, Taylor Hills is in for the Eagles. Placing number 10, Caden Ogle. Caden Ogle comes into the game as the Eagle leader in goals with 13 for the season so far. A little pressure by the Cardinals. The Eagles, unfortunately, kick it out the back. Fortunately, leads to a Cardinal corner kick. Cardinals are set up in their offensive maneuver strategy here to try and get a corner up in the air. Yeah. Goal! Back of the net for the Cardinal goal by Tyson McKay. With 11.37 left in the first half, Tyson McKay puts it in the back of the net for a Cardinal goal. Ball's back in play here, 11-37. Left in your first half, Cardinals put in a nice goal. Take a 3-0 lead on their cross-county rivals, the Underwood Eagles. Eagles are threatening. Shragi backpedals, comes back up, slides, and gets the save. Eagles had a nice threat. Cardinals Defense holds the Eagles out of the net. Caden Ogles back in. Controls the ball right now. Far side of the field. Up the sideline. Going against Aiden Keller. Keller and Young trying to keep him cornered. Ogle falls down. 
Called too much hands on that. Must have got pulled down a little bit. Ogle sends it to mid. Eagles keep the pressure on. Tapped out by McCain. Goes for an eagle throw in. Eagles get the throw in to White. White taps it, keeps it in, bounds though. Back to the Eagles. Kinsella with the threat. There goes Poland from the midfield. Trying to get run out. It's tapped out to the side. Looks like a Cardinal throw in. Tyson McCain with the side throwing. Flips it out to Andrew Keller. Keller sends it deep. However, the back end of the goal leads to the Eagles. Goal kick. Substitution Graham Jensen back in for the Eagles. Graham Jensen replaces number zero, Chase Ogle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eagle sent it up the field, but Cormantine's there to kick it back into the offensive end for the Cardinals. <clears throat> Aiden Keller battling the Eagles for the ball, controls it, gets it to Kinsella. Loses it for a brief moment. Clock stoppage. We have a yellow card. Looks like the yellow is going to be on Brock Poland. High school, they have to sit five minutes for the yellow. Substitute will be Number six, sophomore Jude Miska for your Cardinals. <clears throat> Center official. We do have a substitution, I'm sorry, for the Eagles. Dyson Rasmussen's back in for the Eagles. Replacing Easton Robertson. Cardinals will get free kick from the 30-yard line. Official inadvertently blew the whistle down. Or the ball dead with the Cardinal breakout. So the ball goes to the Cardinals. Goes off an eagle head to a Cardinal corner kick. Play is called for the Cardinals. Sawyer Goss sets up right in front of the net, in front of the keeper. The other Cardinals break out. Ball's kicked up into the air. Gets in. It looks like a header by Peter Young. That header goes to the back of the net for a Cardinal goal. With 7.58 left in the first half, Peter Young puts another tally up onto the scoreboard, taking us to 4-0 here in the first half. Cardinal lead. Eagles are going to restart the clock, down 4-0. Cardinals are putting great pressure on. Good header by Peter Young, coming off a corner kick by Tyson McCain. <clears throat> Aiden Keller fighting with a couple Cardinals, trying to get control of that ball. He's nonstop. He's going from one Eagle to the next to try and get a stoppage of it. Eagles drop it into the middle. Teen fights for it, loses it. Shiragi calls him off. We've got we've got a play is called dead right near the box. 
It's going to be an eagle kick. Cardinals will need to be 10 yards off ball. <clears throat> Cardinals set up with a wall 10 yards back. Kick is made by the Cardinals. Shragi sends it over the top. Caden Ogle tries this to the top shelf, but Shragi's there to punch it up and over. That does give the Eagles a corner kick. We have two substitutions for the Eagles. Easton Robertson's back into the game, along with Dane DeVault, number 22 for the Eagles. Ball's popped up on that corner. <clears throat> Shroggy unsure what to do, just clears it out to get it out of there. So it's going to be an eagle throw in on the side. <clears throat> Eagles try to advance it in the middle. Teen punches it out. Kinsella gets it, sends it up the field to June Biska. Jude Miska with the breakout. He's going to try and beat the Eagle defenders. Tries to get a foot on it. Gets the foot on for a slow roller. Eagles stop the penetration of the Cardinals. Sends it up the field. Andrew Keller fights for it. White sends it back in. Jude Miska looks wide open. Left foots it. Kicked out by the Eagle. Keeper, good save by the keeper, good attack by Jude Miska. Throw in Cardinals, Aiden Keller cuts it back to the middle. Loses track of the ball. Peter Young gets back for the Cardinals, drops it in, drops it into Kinsella. Looked like it was Aiden, Andrew Keller with the assist. Drops it into Keller, or I'm sorry, Kinsella. Kinsella again then finds the back of the net for a cardinal goal. So with 443 left to go in our first half, Danny Kinsella gets his second goal of the evening. Cardinals go up 5-0. We have some substitutions for Underwood when they put the ball back in play. Danny Kinsella gets the brace. Eagles are attacking. Kay Nogle in the middle, little dribbling. Takes it to the top side, top corner. Tries to go one on two against the Cardinals. Probably going to try and pop it out, of which they do, and I, th I believe they called, I believe they called a Cardinal goal kick. The official said that it went off the eagle, Kay Nogle, and that leads to a Cardinal goal kick. So Danny Kinsella gets his brace for the evening. Two goals equals a brace. Cardinals are up 5-0. Headed into the waning minutes of our first half. Eagles putting on a little pressure. Corbentine pops it away. Ball rolls out. Eagles get side throw it. Ball goes out the end line, leads to the Cardinal goal kick. Cardinals try to get an advancement, maybe to get one more goal in before the halftime. 
Eagles look to be putting together something, trying to put some pressure on your Cardinals. Corbentine tries to clear it out, but it hits the big body. He taps it in for the Eagle goal. Nope, looks like, yep, that is a Cardinal, or I'm sorry, an Eagle. Hold on here. Hold on, folks. We have a hand. A touch was called, a hand touch was called by the center official. Negates the Eagle goal. Stays at 5-0. Cardinals get the ball at the 20. Kicks it deep to Miska. Ball bounces to Andrew Keller. Keller just drops it into that box and hopes that everybody outruns and outheads the keeper. No, the Eagle keeper gets a hold of it. Two minutes left to go until halftime. Cardinals were threatening again. Foul was called on the Eagles. Cardinals will get ball around the 43-yard line, this side of the field. Ball's put back into play. Cormantine with the punch into the box. Headed out by an Eagle. <clears throat> Good hustle by Jarrett McIntosh to retrieve that ball back for the Cardinals. A slide to try and retrieve it by the Eagles. White battles off the Eagle. <clears throat> says that it's a free kick by the Cardinals. Center official says free kick. Corbin puts it back into play, punches it down into the box. Try and put pressure on that Eagle defense. Balls bouncing around, bodies were flying, nothing was called. Balls kicked down deep to the Cardinal defense. Charlie Shruggy comes out, boots it back down to midfield. Aiden Keller, Sawyer Goss trying to be a pest on the ball to Ogle. Ogle brings it up the sideline, though. Good full steam on up, but Cormantine knocks her down. Nine, Sends it eight, to the midfield. Seven, Kinsella six, punches it to the middle. Miska is going to try and four, outrun the clock here, and the Eagles two, tries to get his foot three, on it, but it rolls to the Eagle keeper. So we're at halftime here at Cardinal Pitch. Cardinals are up 5-0. I'm going to take a quick break. You're listening to Di Fuller Digital Solutions and your trainer, Card.
Welcome back to Trainer High School and at the Cardinal Pitch where your Trainer Cardinals lead the Underwood Eagles. 5-0 here at halftime. Recap of scoring at 29-25. Danny Kinsella gets his first goal. Then at 21-39. Brock Poland, 11-37 is Tyson McCain with a goal. 7-58. Peter Young puts it in the back of the net. And then with 4-43 till halftime, Danny Kinsella Gets his brace, the second goal of the evening, which then totals it up to 5 0. Your trainer, Cardinals. We start in the second half here, real quick. Get ready for the start of the second half. Cardinals get the ball headed from the east to the west. The sun is pretty much down and out of the way. Won't be blinding any of the Cardinals on their advancement or defense. Time has started and we are underway. Cardinals tap it out of bounds and the Eagles take control for a throw in. Looks like a stoppage of clock. Leads to a throw in. Must have stopped the clock due to the player having to chase the ball down. Ball is then tapped out of bounds for another side throw in by the Eagles. Ball's headed out by Peter Young. Eagles get another throw in deep into the Cardinal defense. Charlie Shiragi stops that, covers the ball up. Brings it out to the top of the box. Let's the Cardinals, Cardinals advance up the field and kicks it down the field to midfield. Danny Kinsella gets control of the ball. to the outside. Ball's pushed up the field. Looks like we have an offsides called. Eagles will get the ball around the 27, 28 yard line on the offense. Offsides call, excuse me, the offsides call by the side judge. Put into play. It's advanced, but we've got an offsides called on the Eagles. He came from one side to the other. You can't do that and touch the ball. So it'll be Cardinal ball. Cardinals advance it up the field. Looks like Bryce or Brock pulling, spinning around a couple times to try and get control of the ball. White gets control, taps it up, back to the middle. Tapped out of bounds for Cardinal throw in. Miska with the throw in. Good stab by the keeper comes up on any type of Advancement by the Cardinals. Eagles try to advance down the field and kick it out of bounds. It goes to a Cardinal throw in. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. If you'd like to help with the sponsorship of our broadcast, please send an email to Fuller Digital Solutions at gmail.com. If you'd like to be a supporter of all trainer athletics, 
and some activities, please join our Trainer Community Athletic Booster Club. Trainers keep, trainer keeps the ball on the offensive end. It's tapped out by the Eagles, and the Cardinals will have a throw in. Ball's thrown in by the Cardinals. Kick to a goal kick. Substitution for the Eagles. Substitute is number eight, Connor Brummert. Ball was kicked before whistle was blown and the substitute was off field. We'll restart. Ball's now restarted by the Eagles to midfield. Eagles try and get possession. Stolen away by Aiden Keller. Ellen Keller. Aiden Keller tries to advance it up the floor, up the field. Gets stolen away by the Eagles. The Eagles then try and put a little advancement. Peter Young stops that. Andrew Keller gets it tapped over to Aiden Keller. Aiden cross field. Cross field to Jude Miska. The Eagles keep it in. Try to advance it, but that's thwarted. Cardinals trying to keep the pressure on. Keep it scoreless here in the second half. Eagles try and think the other direction and keep try to advance it. Keep control of the ball. Aiden Keller tries to stop it. Oh! Collision, stoppage of play. We're going to have a yellow. Yellow looks to be on Peter Young. Probably called him for a trip. Eagle is down around the 30-yard line. Peter has to sit for five minutes. In for the Cardinals, though, comes in Bryce McIntosh. We do still have an Eagle down on the field. Substitute is coming in for that eagle. Josh Bins from our support of Miller Orthopedic Specialists out onto the field to tend to our wounded eagle. Thank goodness the eagle gets up and jogs off the field. Seems to still be in a little bit of pain. like Dyson Rasmussen took the hit for the Eagles. Still writhing in a little bit of pain. Thank goodness we do have our trainer here, Josh Benz from Mill North Peak Specialists, and we love their support that they give to all of our trainer athletics. Eagles put the ball in play, tries to send it deep, but Charlie Schrage there to cover it up. Shragi sends a deep midfield to Kinsella. Gets a toe on it. Taps it down toward the middle of the field, and Poland's going to try and outrun everybody. Taps it with his right foot. Believe it hits the corner of the post and rolls to the near corner. Sends it back in. And it looks to me... that at 33-45, Danny Kinsella puts it into the back of the net for a Cardinal goal. Cardinals now go up 6-0 on the Eagles.
Three goals for Danny Kinsella. That gives him what's called a hat trick for the evening right now and puts the Cardinals up 6-0 at the 33-minute three, mark in the second half. Eagles restart. Cardinals get the advantage back and then lose it. Oh, we got a whistle. A little bit of a foul called. Gives the ball back to the Cardinals around the 34-yard line. McIntosh puts back into play, headed by an Eagle. Eagles try and work it out of that defensive end, but it's then picked up by White. White to McCain, McCain to Keller. Keller dumps it into the middle, picked up by an Eagle. Eagles advance it, have some little bit of advantage here. Tries to drop it down the field, but nice move by White. Nathan White, a junior here at Trainer High School, stops that, kicks it out, slows up the process, leads to an eagle throw in. Defense of the Cardinals kicks it out again, try and hold up the eagle offense. Eagles then throw it in. Again, the defense by White kicks it out. Eagle throw in. Ball gets tapped out of the end line by a Cardinal. Going to give a corner kick for the Eagles. Eagles put the ball in play. Cardinals send it out a little deeper. Pulling with the slide. Try and knock the ball out. Rolls out the back. Then leads to the Cardinal goal kick. Down to about 31 minutes left here in the second half. Cardinals are up 6-0. On their Western Iowa Conference foe, the Underwood Eagles. The Eagles do get a little steal. Tries to set something up, but stolen right back by Keller. Keller to uh, Tyson McCain. McCain sends it to the other side of the field. Ball is batted around side to side. Looks like the Cardinals booted down the field, trying to use their speed on the Eagles. Try and get another goal, but the Eagles then slap it out of bounds. Goes to a Cardinal throw in. Cardinals get the throw in deep in the Eagle defense. Throw in was by McCain to White. White kicked it off of an Eagle and goes to another Cardinal throw in. He throws it to the corner to McCain. Can't get to it. McCain and an Eagle battle for it. Eagles gain control. Kinsella taps it out. Eagle throw in. Substitution for the Eagles. Taylor Hills comes in for the Eagles. Apologize if you can't see any of the corner action on the deep corners. I'll try and give you the best play as I can for you. Eagles advance it strong down the middle of the field by Easton Robertson. Gets punched out. Eagles try and get the recovery, which they do. Ball gets past an eagle. Gets punched out of bounds. We have a substitution. In for your Cardinal lineup is Peter Young. 
comes in and replaces, it looks like, replacing number 13, Bryce McIntosh. Cardinals throw it in play. Drops it back to Shragi. Shragi takes surveys the field, punches it up the middle to Keller. Keller then slaps it up the far side, gets headed by an eagle. Looks like Miska heads it back into the mix. Eagle's trying to battle to get it out of the hole. Keller keeps it in. Punches it deep into the corner. Ball's rolling. It rolls pretty quick on our turf. Goes right out of bounds to a Cardinal throw in. Oh, called it an eagle throw in. I'm sorry. Eagle throw in. If you don't know much about Cardinal field, the Cardinal soccer field is a full-size soccer field. Cardinal steal the ball, get a little pressure. The eagle... Keeper kind of rolls around and punches it out to the side. An eagle defender then throws it, kicks it out of bounds. We've got a cardinal throw in and a cardinal substitution. Freshman Sawyer Goss comes back into the ball game for the Cardinals, replaces Tyson McCain. Cardinals get the throw in. Trying to put pressure. Keeps the ball, punches it to the middle, and goes out of the inline. Leads to a goal kick for the Eagles. Nope, punched it right off of an eagle, which leads to a corner kick for the Cardinals. Cardinals will now set up to try and score another goal here on the corner. Coach McIntosh yelling out some instructions. And away the Cardinals break. Ball goes up into the air. Header, but didn't quite get it. Looks like Peter Young was up in the air again, but could not get his top of his head on it or the side of his head fast enough. And the Eagles quickly throw it out and are on the move. Caden Ogle is going through the Cardinals. Two Cardinals drop to the ground. Ogle still has it into the box. Oh, we got a stoppage of play. Trainers called out onto the field. Again, thanks to Josh Bentz for being on hand for Miller Orthopedic Specialists. We, we love their assistance with the trainer athletic and any activities we have. We do appreciate everything that they do for the trainer colonels. Ogle is getting called off the field due to having called the medical staff onto the field. No penalty, I believe, was called. They are conferring on the far side of the field. See if they need to make any changes to their call. Looks like Dyson Rasmussen's ready to replace Caden Ogle. Well, they've decided to make a call, and they do have a yellow card. Looks to me like the yellow card is going to be on Corbin Teen of the Cardinals. Which, well, let me try and figure this out for you folks. Corbin Teen then has to come out of the game for five minutes. Looks like it's going to be a PK for the Eagles. As I said before, in comes number seven, Dyson Rasmussen. Looks like he's going to be the one that sets up for the PK. PK is our penalty kick. 1v1 right here between Rasmussen and Shragi. Official explaining why the call was made.
Looks like we do have a substitution coming or replacing Corbin Teen as number 13 for your Cardinals. Freshman Bryce McIntosh into the game. As I said, with a penalty kick, it's 1v1. For the Eagles will be number 7, Dyson Rasmussen, against Charlie Schrage for the Cardinals. Whistle's blown, kick's made, and it goes into the net. Eagles get on the board with 26.05. Dyson Rasmussen with the goal for the Eagles on a PK. Score is now 6-1. Cardinals. Well, I think everything was figured out now. Led to a penalty kick. Because of that goal now, Kane Ogle can now re-enters the game. Comes in for number 13, Taylor Hills. Comes out of the ball game for the Eagles. Cardinals will get the ball at midfield. Looks like we had a little deflated ball again. Slow leak of the air. Ball's replaced. And we'll get play started again here with the whistle. Cardinals restart. With Brock Poland in the center. Kicks it back. Eagles try and take advantage. Cardinals drop it back. Shroggy kicks it out to midfield. Eagles putting a little more pressure on the Cardinals. Aiden Keller trying to Stopping any type of advancement, which he's helped out by Charlie Shroggy. Shroggy takes his time, advances the ball up the field with a kick to Poland. Poland tries to take control with the foot, lets it bounce. Gets it out to Goss. It's kicked out by an eagle. Throw in Cardinals. Throw-ins by Young to Keller. Keller tries to switch field. Gets it out. A little too aggressive on the header. Cardinals will get the free kick. Looks like Jarrett McIntosh with the kick. Start us off. Kicks it deep to the box. Headed by Poland. Or possibly an eagle and it caught by the eagle goalie. Eagles quickly push it up the field. Gets kicked out of bounds. Cardinal throw in. Talking a little bit about the Cardinal pitch. It's a full-size soccer field. Very rare for some high schools to actually have full-size soccer fields built with their football field. A lot of Schools, especially small schools, play everything on their football field and doesn't lead to a full-size soccer field. Here at Trainer, we do. Due to the fact that we have what's called an equilateral or international track, which means the straights are the same distance as the curves, which makes it more of a, not an oblong, but more of almost kind of a rectangular, rectangular shape which then produces the full-size soccer field inside. Eagles have the throw-in on the side, far side of the field. They drop it back, try and gain some control. Sawyer Goss gets control of the ball for the Cardinals and brings it up the field, drops it to McIntosh. McIntosh tries to get all of it, but an eagle stops the advancement. Goss battling for the ball. Keller pops it up into the air. 
Gets the, tries to get control of it. Taps it to Keller. Aiden Keller. Taps it to the middle. To McIntosh. McIntosh gets it. Hits the side of the goal and it drops to the back of the net for a Cardinal goal. So a 22-35. It's Bryce McIntosh scoring the goal for the Cardinals to put him up 7-1. Over their cross-county rival, the Underwood Eagles. Poland comes out of the game and is replaced by number 25, sophomore Nolan Scott for the Cardinals. Battle for the ball in the middle of the field. Keller gets it. Aiden Keller taps it to Scott. Scott tries to work it around an Eagle defender. It's picked up by the Eagles, and Aiden Keller, excuse me, Andrew Keller taps it out of bounds, and it goes Eagle throw in. Eagles advance it down the side. Looks like it's tapped out by an Eagle. Cardinals get ball back. Young drops it to the back to Kinsella, Kinsella to Shragi. Danny Kinsella with the 7-1 lead. He's dropped back into the defensive mode. Scott gets breaks through with the ball. Gets tapped in the back. Tries to keep control. The Eagles gain control of it. Push it to the middle of the field. Try and get an advancement going. However, Jarrett McIntosh is there to stop the advancement. Ball's kicked around. Goss tries to get it. It's bounced off of an eagle. Keller drops it into the box. Hopes for an advancement by a Cardinal, but the eagle keeper grabs a hold of it. Keeper sends it up. McIntosh tries to get to Miska. Miska putting some pressure on an eagle, recovers the ball. And it goes out of bounds, so it leads to a Cardinal ball on the side. Cardinals push up, try and get a good throw in. Kicked out again by the Eagles. Meska looks to throw it in, gets it thrown in. Eagles tap it out, the inline, which then leads to a Cardinal corner kick. Corner kicks made by the Cardinals up into the air. Tries to get headed again. It's missed. Eagles clear it out. And it becomes Cardinal ball, and we have a substitution. Bo Thiel comes in the game for your Cardinals. Bo comes in and will replace number 13, Bryce McIntosh. A couple Eagles come in. I didn't get their number. I apologize for that. Ball's put back into play by the Cardinals. In the middle of the Scott. Scott to Keller ends up with the ball. Gets a nice kick out of it. Oh, it just goes wide of the net. Nice quick kick. Nice quick foot there. By freshman Aiden Keller. Eagles bring it out of the goal. Attack this near side. 
advance it up to the middle. And the Cardinals thwart that by Danny Kinsella kicking it back to the other side. Ball bounces around. We've got a stoppage of play again. And it looks to be a yellow card. I am not sure what for, but it is on Jude Miska. So Jude will need to sit his five minutes. Out of the 18 minutes we have left in our second half. Tyson McCain now will be called onto the field to replace Jude Miska. McCain comes back onto the field. Eagles will get a free kick. Again, we thank everyone for viewing tonight's matchup between your trainer Cardinals and the Underwood Eagles. Cardinals lead 7-1 here with about 18 minutes left to go in the second half. Had a great night of action. Ball's kicked out the end, so it'll be a goal kick for your Cardinals. Earlier action, the trainer ladies soccer team got defeated by the Underwood Eagles. And right now your trainer boys soccer team is leading 7-1. Both heel trying to put a little pressure on the Eagles. Try and keep it down the offensive end. Eagles break it out. Andrew Keller kicks it right back down into that zone area. Back to the middle for the Eagles. Aiden Keller trying to put some pressure on. Looks like McCain's trying. And we got a stoppage of play again. Got another, I believe, a yellow card going to be given to Tyson McCain for a little too much roughness toward the player's back and toward the goalie. He'll sit his five minutes onto the sideline. And it looks like the replacement's going to be number 13, Bryce McIntosh. Well, we knew the battle between Underwood and Trainer is usually a physical matchup. We've had a lot of yellows tonight. Officials are trying to keep control of the game. We don't want it to get out of hand. We've had some yellow cards. It does provide for a little bit of stoppage of play. However, we want to make sure that everybody is safe. Eagles put it back into play. A little bit of a fumble by the Eagles. They do keep control. <laughs> Looks like Young's trying to cover the ball up, gets pushed from behind, and we've got a free kick by the Cardinals. Danny Kinsella is going to take that free kick. Sends it up to midfield. Eagles control. Goes up the sideline. Good advancement. Gets to the back foot of an eagle and rolls out of bounds. Cardinal throw in. Young drops it back to Kinsella. Kinsella over to Shragi. Shragi gets a little pressure, kicks it out the backside. 
And it's controlled by the Eagles. Eagles try and set something up to try and get another goal on the board. Got about 15 minutes left to go here in the second half. Eagles advance it into the box. And Kinsella sends it out the side for a throw in for the Eagles. Eagles keep the pressure on the Cardinals. <coughs> Big foot from about the 25-yard line. Goes out. Looks like we have an Eagle throw in. We do have a substitution. New keeper coming in for your Eagles. Looks like John Rosas. Coming in for the Eagles. Replace Ryland Watercott. Watercott. Cardinals get the throw in. Ball is sent to the back of the Cardinals. Out the end line, provides a corner kick for the Eagles. Eagles send it in the middle, headed toward the Cardinal goal. It's cleared, tried to be cleared out, but was pushed out off the leg. Be Cardinal goal kick in for the Cardinals. Comes number 31, freshman Reese Vorthman in. He's going to take the place of number 25, Nolan Scott. And play resumes. Ball gets past our defender. Gets to an eagle. A couple eagles out there, but it is nicely cleared out by Danny Kinsella. Charlie Shroggy was trying to get a jump on the ball also. Eagles did have an advantage. Uh, we have an offside call. Got an eagle throw in. Throws it in a Cardinals key. Kick it deep, which leads to a eagle goal kick. 12 minutes left to go in our contest here. Trainer High School, the Cardinal pitch. Using football terms. I should say football terms, the Cardinal pitch. Cardinals are up 7-1 over the Underwood Eagles. Eagles kick the ball out. Goes to the Cardinals. Cardinals trying to work it around. Try to get it to the midfield. Sawyer Goss gets a hold of it. Tries to control it. We've got a foul for an e oh, Cardinal free kick. Looks like Young's going to take the free kick. Eagles set a wall. Young bounces it up. Goes off the Eagle keeper's hands. Cardinal cannot get control of it. Eagles send it out. Try to advance. Ogles trying to go one on three for the Eagles. We have a stoppage of play. Too much roughness. Red card was given on that one. 
too aggressive on that. And that's given looks to number seven of the Eagles. Dyson Rasmussen has a red card. That's the second red card given tonight on the Eagles. Dyson will need to sit this one and I believe the next match also. Along with the keeper, the starting keeper, Hayden Hewn. We'll need to set the sit the next match also. And the ball is put back into play. Headed by an eagle, which allows the eagle keeper to grab hold of it. Throws it out of the box. Deep throw. <laughs> Eagles are going to get advancement up the sideline, this near sideline. Putting some pressure on the Cardinals. Out comes Shragi from the goal. We've got a stoppage of play again, and it looks like a penalty. We're going to have a discussion. I believe the discussion will deal with Charlie Schrage coming out of the goal, not going after the ball and taking out the opponent. And I believe that is what is called, and it will be a penalty kick for the Eagles. So we will go 1v1 again with a penalty kick. Looks like Caden Olga will be taking the penalty kick for the Eagles. Whistle's blowing. Kick is made. And it's a goal for the Eagles. Eagles now put two in the back of the net. So at 10-17, Caden Ogle scores. On a penalty kick. For the Eagles. And that takes a 7-2 to here. We have a couple of all Cardinals into the game. Number 19, Lane Eitman's in for the Cardinals. Freshman Lane Eitman. And number 20, Jace Hayden's in. Freshman. For your Cardinals. In for the Eagles, I believe, is Alex Cook is in 7-2 we have with 10 minutes left to go in the second half and away we go a lot of young players here for the Cardinals trying to get some playing time in trying to get some experience with a 7-2 lead Andrew Keller stops the attack of the Eagles. Goes past Bo Thiel, and the Eagles drop it back. The keeper loses control of it. Hayden was rearing that foot back to give it a kick, and just didn't get there in time, and the Eagles get control. Young loses control on this near sideline, and the Eagles take it, drop it deep into the Cardinal defense. Tapped back to Shragi. Shragi sends it to midfield. I believe it went to midfield to Eitman. Eitman on his horse trying to race the Eagle downfield. Out comes the keeper, picks it up. Keeper throws it out, out to midfield. White and an eagle tussle around for it. White taps it back to Kinsella. Kinsella 
Kicks it back into play to Keller. Aiden Keller. Sends it to the corner for Eitman. Goes off an eagle out of bounds. Cardinals put it quickly back into play. Gets to the middle. Eagles try to advance it. Cardinals pull it back. Switch field. Gets it over here on this near side. Uh, Kale White's in the game. I miss Kale. Kale White. Freshman is in for the Cardinals. Had the touch on this near side. Cardinals advance it. Get it to the far side. And we've got some substitutions coming in for the Eagles. Seven minutes left on our scoreboard. Cardinals are holding a 7-2 lead over the Underwood Eagles. Still a beautiful night here in Trainer. Temperature has dropped a little bit when the sun went down, but we'll still take it with no rain, no snow, and very little wind. Ball gets put back into play. Cardinals tussle around with it, trying to advance it up the side to Eitman. And the Eagles kick it out. White will make the throw in. Let's try to kick it out by the Eagles. Young tries to kick it, gets blocked by the body of an Eagle. And Kinsella sends it down the field. And then the Eagles send it back the other way to Kinsella. Danny Kinsella has slid back into his defensive role after scoring a hat trick tonight of three goals for your Cardinals. Allowing some of our young players to get some playing time. Back in for the Cardinals. Comes Nolan Scott, sophomore Nolan Scott, replacing number 20, Jace Hayden, our freshman. Getting some playing time here with a 7-2 lead. Eagle keeper comes out, throws it back out toward midfield to try and advance the Eagles. Danny Kinsella hustles over. Takes control of the ball, switches the side of the field, gets it over to Young. Young tries to get it through the middle, stopped by an eagle. Eitman on the far side, battling with an eagle, and the eagle kicks it out, brings us to a throw in. We have a substitution. Reese Morthman comes back into the game for the Eagles. He's going to replace Peter Young. Good job by Peter on the defensive role tonight for your Cardinals. Also, Peter got a nice header at 7.58 in the first half for a Cardinal goal off a corner kick. Many of the young Cardinals are playing up front on the offensive end, trying to get in some work, some experience, some playing time. Ball goes out, gives it back to the Eagles. I believe we've got a, another yellow. On an eagle. Caden Ogle, I believe, got a yellow. I didn't see what happened. The center official must have. Coach. I'm just saying, 
little bit of aggressiveness, swung his arm back, hit a Cardinal. He's going to be off for the rest of this half, since there's only four minutes left. And ball's put back into play. Ball's played back. Instructions are given by both coaches not to play the ball. They're going to allow the teams to just hold the ball in there for the last four minutes of the ball game. Something new I've seen my 12 years of soccer. Fissel just calls it a match. Ends it right here with a 7-2 win for your Cardinals. That's something I've never seen happen in uh, soccer before. And like I said, I've been doing this for 12 years now and many other years at the youth level, but this was a first for me to try and just end the game prematurely. Handshakes at center field. Cardinals end up with a victory 7-2 and move on to 4-0. Underwood takes the loss, ends up 2-3 for the season so far. We appreciate you tuning in to Fuller Digital Solutions and the Trainer Cardinals Broadcasting Network. Thanks for your support. This is Tim Navra. Have a good evening. We'll catch back up again on the next home match, which I believe will be Friday for the girls. Thank you, folks. Have a good night, and as always, roll card.